here with Augmented Pixels, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Vit, I'm founder at uh, Augmented Pixels. Uh, uh, we're representing here uh, Slam uh, for drones, robotics and uh, mobile systems. So with our uh, software you can uh, make a drone, for example, fully autonomous. So drone can fly according to some specific program, or you can uh, do the same with home robots. Uh, this technology also is for AR and VR glasses. So, uh, what's going on here? What are all these dots? Uh, here our technology do mapping of the environment on a single camera. And blue dots means uh, the, uh, far away and uh, red dots means uh, close to you. So it's, we understand this distance from the motion. With one camera? Yeah, with just one single no camera. No stereo camera? No stereo camera. We also support stereo camera, we support LiDARs. Uh, but uh, single camera is something what uh, what we have now. And it's... Every drone has a single camera right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what do you mean LiDAR? LiDAR is some, some uh, sensor with, uh, with some li laser inside. Or some, some radar kind of Yeah, thing. Some, some kind. Yeah, some kind. And uh, what's the other systems that people have? What is in a Phantom 4? On a Phantom 4, I think they have stereo camera plus ultrasonic uh, sensors. So it's a, a pretty expensive uh, solution. Ultrasonic? Yeah. 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 And, no, no. Uh, infrared stuff? No need. Infrared depends on lighting. So if you're flying in some specific uh, areas, there is no bad lighting, probably you can need some additional sensors. But again, we're dealing with different sensors. Like, like. So what is this SLAM SDK? SLAM SDK allows you to map environment and then localize robot or a drone uh, in this environment. And we're doing this real time on uh, very low power uh, CPUs, uh, like you have in, uh, in your phone, for example. So is it the Cortex-M or Cortex-A? Yeah. Yeah. Cortex-M? Yeah, yeah. Again, it's, it's like ra ra Raspberry Pi, uh, this is a, oh, here is Odroid inside, so it's a camera and Odroid inside. It's a, like just normal CPU, what most of all have in, in That's phone. a Cortex-A, right? Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so you're able to run on uh, no ARM CPU, yeah. your code, yeah. and you have a... Uh, is it working? Or yes. Is it still, uh, no, no, we have, we, we have several uh, already clients, big clients. They uh, improve this technology and probably soon we will see some uh, products on the market. So uh, what are the things the drone needs? Uh, the drone needs uh, object avoidance. Yeah, drone needs not uh, crash into a wall. So drone needs some additional sensors, for example, ultrasonic to uh, uh, obstacle avoidance. But again, our system deals with all of these sets of sensors. You can see it's it's blinking. Sorry, but <laughs> yeah. So there was uh, it's coming back. Yeah, yeah. How many slides seven. you have? Just uh, next next slide will be. So we're so, dealing with all these sensors. Yeah. All this, this death, this uh, yeah. this lidar, sonar, and so so you need object avoidance, how about uh, uh, follow? Can you follow people? Follow it means object detection and object following. Uh, using this kind of system you, you can you can have the same functionality. Yes. It also for autonomous exploration, we, we have such feature. So John can autonomously uh, map environment or robot can map environment and then uh, it will uh, you can program uh, its behavior in this environment. So, so, what, so uh, no need to connect to the cloud, everything is done on the drone? It's on, on it's run on, on board, yeah, everything happening on board. Is everything perfect now? You can make it better, all this? For sure, we're working uh, during day and night to improve this technology, but now it's in production, yeah. What, what will happen in the future if you make it better? Uh, Science will uh, support more sensors, uh, and uh, we will see more advanced sensors on the market. Probably we'll have uh, a lot of very small, uh, full autonomous uh, robots around us. And they will do a lot of job instead of us. Nice. And then you go and you land exactly at the place you need to land? Yeah, with accuracy centimeters. Yeah. And you can land and you can swap the battery and go again for another 10 you can, you, you, you can land on a charging station. With accuracy, what so our accuracy allow you to run exactly on a on a on a charging station, and you can charge, and then uh, fly again. I'd like to see a robotic arm swap the battery. Put a new battery. Go in five seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we even uh, we have some companies who are doing something like this. So it's it's something what you will see in the future. So as a drone uh, with your technology, is it possible to have it cheap? Is yeah. it cheaper than Phantom Four? Uh, Potentially? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because again, we can use cheaper sensors, and uh, with these cheaper sensors, you can increase better accuracy and uh, better output.